Hey guys, it's me, Marquita, and I am starting a new playlist on my channel. The playlist is called Get to Know Me, and I will be answering questions, but I also would like to get to know y'all, so leave your questions and answer in the description below so that we can get to know each other. Hey everybody, it's me Marquita and today's um, YouTuber that I support is Amy let me try to figure out how to say her name Marion I think that's how you say her, her last name Amy Marion okay I don't watch every single one of her videos because when I started watching her video I think I was only subscribed to maybe 10 or 15 people and now that I'm subscribed to more people, her videos kind of fall to the bottom. And it's not that I don't want to support her. It's, um, I don't never see her videos on my timeline. And then if I do see, because I have on my notification for all of that. And if I see a notification of her video, I do go on there. And I do give her a like you know and I do watch it to support it because I really love I, I love her energy I love her channel I love her message when I started watching her um oh crap which one was it it was her second daughter yeah cause I didn't watch her before her first before her oldest daughter got married I started watching when and I think the daughter's name was Brooke please don't hold that against me because I don't remember the daughter's name but she was engaged and she was a nanny I don't know what she does now like I said I haven't kept up but how I found Miss Amy um is I think either I was watching She's in Her Apron and YouTube um, recommended Miss Amy to me or I was watching J. Morrell Stewart and it, it, I was either watching J. Morrell or I was watching um, She's in Her Apron, Kimmy. Um, but something in the YouTube algorithm agri y'all it's not it's not eight o'clock it is literally 457 <sighs> agorism nope that's that's not how you say that youtube request not requested recommended me to watch miss amy um and when i clicked on it it says she had 10 kids and I'm like oh so that means she had a couple and she adopted no no she she birthed 10 kids and she had a couple of miscarriages but she looks fantastic fantastic for having that many kids and I was like are you sure that you carried you first of all you don't look like a mother of 10 because you are well put together um your house is very beautiful and well put together and you don't look old enough to have 10 kids and that's what i said because i like I said, very first looking at her outside, she is gorgeous, a very beautiful woman. But then I actually watched her videos and actually got to 
get to know her you know as a viewer as me as a viewer and her as a content creator and i'm like your beauty is not just on the outside it's also on the inside and i literally have learned some stuff from her my favorite of her videos is gather your fragments oh i love her get them are my favorite videos because she basically she would eat or and she does she also did freezer meals i loved her freezer meals and i love how all of her kids helped with the freezer meals you know like she had maybe three kids they had a station and that and they did like two different freezer meals and then she had like a certain amount of kids they had a station and they were either cutting the ingredients for the other kids meal and you know so that to me was different because I was I never seen the meal um, the freezer meal ever been done like that and I thought that is just because it's like okay well this is what freezer meals we're gonna have we're gonna have and and I'm I'm, I'm gonna throw in Jay Morrell right just this little part but Jay Morrell will have her own video but like on Jay Morrell I know that she does this also sometimes but um like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and maybe waffles well one kid will be designated to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches like i think 10 loaves of peanut butter 10, 10 loaves of bread peanut butter jelly sandwiches and then uh, you know and then that kid might after you make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches then you will make 200 waffles while other kids is making maybe meatloaves like I, I'm, I'm not saying that that's what it was but I'm saying the station set up I very first seen it on Miss Amy's channel and I thought I never would have thought to designate different stations and different meals but like I said, my when I started watching, I think the girls were like three or four. No, they they would have been three because this was early in me watching YouTube. Um, and I started watching YouTube um, after they turned two years old because I had my brain surgery um, that Monday after their second birthday, which I did on purpose. I, I did not want to have brain surgery before they turned two. That's why it was on July. It was supposed to have been on June the 15th, but I pushed it back. I'm like, I will have it on July the 29th, which would have been a Sunday. Or, um, not July, not July, um, June the 29th which would have been a Sunday I think that's how it was or it might have been a Saturday all I remember is their birth I might have had their birthday a day late I thought I had it on their actual birthday but I think there's 30 days so Sunday would have had to be the 30th because I had my surgery on July the 1st and that was a Monday and I remember, all I remember is I was like, I can have my surgery on July the 29th, but I cannot have it a day before because my kids will be two on June the 28th. And I do, and if I die, I don't want them to remember that I was not there for their second birthday. That was literally my reasoning to get it done 
after their birthday because I wanted to see them to their second birthday and I did and and I lived and I'm glad that I did it after their birthday because of the complications that I had after surgery and is still having now I couldn't imagine doing that to them but um, I never thought of doing freezer meals in different um, different sections or designating these kids to these two meals or to doing ingredients or whatever um, because I, I never seen it done like that and that was very smart and another thing that I learned from Miss Amy that I still do to this day I still buy my toilet paper about every six months because she is the one that I seen that goes on Amazon and buys like 90 to 180 rows of toilet paper the big box of toilet paper I seen that on Miss Amy's channel and still to this day I buy toilet paper every six months because I'm just a family of four she's a family of ten and so she buys a couple of them boxes because actually I'm gonna say 12 but I think now she got grandkids but at that time it was she was a family of 12 but then her her oldest daughter got married and lived somewhere else so then she was like a family of 11 but then her other daughter was about to get me but so my my point of it is she needed a couple of boxes of of the of the 90 to 180 rows of toilet paper because one she has a big family and two you know she wanted to make sure that she that she had some for a couple of months because I think she was doing hers every three months I do mine's every six months and I probably have like I have a lot that is like okay well I'm good but like if I start seeing that okay I'm down to like my last 20 rows I do order another box and I, I try keeping it in rotation like that 